Uh, my name's Tony Kirk. Uh, I'm a retired veterinarian. Uh, in the course of things, even though I grew up here in Coffeyville, I basically spent most of my time in Southern California. Personally, I've traveled extensively. Uh, I've traveled through many parts of Europe, uh, some of the, the Caribbean islands. Uh, the United, in the United States, I've been in most every state. I've lived in one, two, three. Was coming back this way, looking uh, basically at Arkansas and Missouri. I was looking for two land or two features in property. One was uh, a water feature, which we found in the lake, and two in a uh, paved road that uh, was serviceable year-round. This particular property is 120 acres. It's mostly wooded. The lake itself is just a little under 10 acres. is unusual for this part of the state in that it's pretty much uh, clear water. Uh, we can actually, on good days, see down to 15 feet. Uh, lake is extremely well stocked, too well actually. We need to, some of these fish need to be thinned out. The back area, the additional 100 areas, is uh, accessible through uh, four-wheel or side-by-side. Uh, -side. There is extensive deer on the property. The property really has been very minimally hunted for the last 20 years. The problem is, is as much as anything else is the isolation. We're, we're still in town, and yet we have by having uh, electric gate on the property, it's we're com pretty much completely shut off if we want to be. The, the house itself is basically all new. Uh, the roof we put on within the last two years, uh, the septic tank is two years old. The interior has completely been redone. Uh, this porch area is all new. Uh, this actually is probably our most used room. The very first thing I did when I bought the property was to put in a uh, 50 by 100 foot building that is uh, has a six inch concrete floor in it. At the same time, the building is insulated. It's partitioned off to where there's a, a workshop in it, a woodworking shop primarily, that's 20 by 50 feet. One of the, the features of the property that is, is difficult to really see unless you're actually in person doing it, and that is our back trails. It's, it's like being in a, another, another country, another area, and yet you're still at home. Probably fortunate in the fact that we've got just about everything that people think they want is already here. Uh, we've not hardly had the motorhome out of the barn for the last couple of years simply because there's no place I can really go that's any nicer than where I'm living.